A few medical employees at Denver Health made history today. They became some of the first people to get the live Ebola vaccine for preventative measures. You've likely heard of Ebola, a rare but deadly disease. Back in 2014, there was a major outbreak in West Africa that did lead to some cases here in the United States. Nine News reporter Jalisa Irizarry sharing with us why a medical team here in Colorado are some of the first to get the vaccine. Go ahead and take her back to the room where we were set up. Yeah. Okay. So much of a hospital is procedural. Hello. But nothing is routine when the doctor is the patient. And we're like fun people, right? <laughs> Dr. Maria Frank is eager today to take on something exciting and even a little so momentous. Historic. Yeah. Dr. Frank is getting the Ebola vaccine today. A little poke. Denver Health says they're the first high infection medical team to get it as a preventative measure. And there we are. They're one of 13 centers in the U.S. All right. that can care for Ebola patients. Just like that. Although right now, the likelihood is low. And even though there's no current outbreaks happening in the world, we want to make sure that people have the chance to um, be protected in case we need to care for a patient that has a disease with a mortality potentially of 70%. In 2014, the largest Ebola epidemic started in West Africa. A few cases trickled into the United States. 11 people were treated, just one person died. The FDA approved the first vaccine five years later. Ebola has a very high mortality rate, so it's exciting to be a part of this next step in treating this disease. Elizabeth Lenz is another recipient today. She's a Denver health paramedic. Little poke. That's also part of the high risk infection team. She helps transport highly infectious patients that need care at the treatment center. All right. Today, she can do that with a little peace of mind. It burns a little bit in the shoulder, but it's all right. <laughs> Knowing she's now protected. Exactly. Lens hopes this vaccine turns the calendar to the next era, one with more treatment and less tragedy. We're advancing and finding a way to, to actually prevent this. As for as how long the Ebola vaccine lasts, Dr. Frank says right now it's just one dose. The vaccine they got is only available to frontline workers that may be at risk of being exposed to the virus. Popularity of vaccines took a big hit uh, through COVID, but you have to wonder, I mean, they're not inventing them for fun. They, a lot of people in, in medic, medicine say they work, they're important, they save lives. Exactly. And knowing that Ebola has such a high mortality rate, you know, back in West Africa in 2014, that was brutal. Thousands were mm -hmm. killed at that point. So knowing how high that mortality rate, they don't want to take any chances and they want to get people protected. Hopefully, the experience with COVID has educated many people about the spread of these things, because Ebola was one of those that people were like, so yeah, and it and it spreads and it is deadly. Thank you, Julie.